So as genie, you can use Chandra Wave to push your enemy. So one of the best damaging spells and make this wall of blades. Hail and Meshes Adventures. This is Cleric and that's me, Spot King. So today I greet you in the world of Baltus Gate 3 in my guide for the Cleric of Light Domain. So first of all, let's pick our class, of course. Class is Cleric and that's really nice class. And we're picking Light Domain for this guide today. I got guides to every subclass, every class. Watch in the pinned comment. When they're ready, they will, be, they will be over there. So Light Domain Cleric will get fantastic set of offensive spells which close the gap between clerics and wizards. And you will be a lot tankier than any wizard, so you fill the gap in a party as supportive mage that stay most of the time in between your mini characters and range characters. So what is good races for our cleric? Today is a build guide, so we're building Light Domain Cleric as human. Another good picks will be Elf, Dragonborn and Elf, of course, High Elf, as well as Gityanki with the with, uh, Gityanki cantrips. But I like to pick human with uh, nice race features. Civil Militia, you will get proficiency with uh, light armor shields, spears, spikes, halberds and glaives. But most importantly, human versatility, so we will can have additional skill to be proficient in and you get additional carry capacity. So just nice all around race for our cleric. When it's done we can pick our deity but deity will affect only your role playing stuff so just check out all these gods and decide who is your deity. For background it's not important too much so pick again what you want to role play for but nice background is acolyte for some insight and religion checks. And let's go to our ability distribution. So for abilities I would recommend you to go with 8 strength, 14 dexterity, 14 constitution, excuse me 13 constitution, 12 intelligence and 15 into wisdom and then we go last points into charisma so we get 10 in charisma and we get plus 2 bonus into wisdom and plus 1 into constitution so for skill proficiency you will get medicine and persuasion from your cleric and most important you need to have perception from your human so perception is one of most important checks in this game so it's nice to have plus 5 into perception just like that. Let's talk about our first cantrips and spell choices. So for Cleric we go with Sacred Flame, it's our damaging cantrip, which doing 1d8 radiant damage, Guidance to have more chances to succeed on ability checks, and Resistance to increase our saving throws if we need them. But most of the time we won't use this cantrip anyway, because it requires concentration and we get a lot more other concentration spells. So, for our spells, I recommend to start at level 1 with this lane up. We get a Guiding Bolt, which is 4d6 radiant damage range attack spell. Inflict wounds, it's 3d10 damage, but it's melee spell. So, if someone in melee range and you got some spell slots, it's better to just go into inflict inflict woods instead of doing just mace attacks because we're a little bit weaker class right now with our mace. So shield of face is nice concentration spell to increase armor class and bless is nice concentration spell too to increase chances of attack rolls with 1d4 additional dice. And just like that our cleric ready to go into the game. So, important things to know when you're starting your adventure as cleric with my build of Light Domain Cleric. It's more spell caster build, so that's why I got like zero into strange. And when you're using your mace, mace is using strange as its bonus. So, as you can see, we can even do zero damage even if we succeed our attack, because uh, our eight strange will give us minus one to our damage. That's why we never will rely on this main hand attack. But our cleric is proficient with daggers. And daggers should have bonus from dexterity. And just like that you can from the first levels cast a shield of faith on yourself. 
and be at least very nice tanky machine with our 19 armor class from the start of the game. So how cleric works, don't forget, it works with prepared spell mechanic, so you got some spells that you can prepare and that's like basic lineup of spells. And you got some spells that always prepared as light domain spells. For example, on level 1 you got Burning Hands, which is nice, mainly out of range spell too. So, while I'll still prefer Inflict Wounds, you can change Inflict Wounds for like, for example, Cure Wounds to cure your body and use Burning Hands as your melee attack. Just like that. And before we go into our first fight, let's level up to level 3 and I'll explain my build when it progresses. So level 3 will unlock additional spell slot and channel divinity charges. You will get uh, light and every cleric action turn undead which is useful when you face an undeads and you will get Radiance of the Dawn. Radiance of the Dawn becomes a useful AoE damage spell and it's also effective against magical darkness. That's how you want to use it, because it will dispel any magical darkness on hit. So, you will get additional prepared spell, so you can prepare whatever you like, for example, now you can prepare inflict wounds finally if you haven't it, or vice versa, you can get cure wounds right now. And level 3 cleric of light domain gets level 2 spell slots finally, with additional light domain spells. Flaming Sphere and Scorching Ray. And that's crazy damage spells actually. That's why this cleric is very nice and almost wizard-like character. Only problem, all spells of this cleric will be with fire damage or radiant damage. And that's one more reason why I re really like to still have inflict wounds even on higher levels. It's doing at least some different damage. Necrotic damage is pretty normal too. So what is good spells right now on level 3? You can get rid of uh, Bless or Shield of Faith depending on what you're using more and get Spiritual Weapon and Hold Person. Spiritual Weapon is nice bonus section attack of force damage. Again, we want at least some mix of damage right now. And Hold Person is very nice control spell which will hold any humanoid. So let's go and show you this cleric in early game fights. So as cleric always give you all the melee characters, way to go and let them go and do your job in the melee range. Time to push my luck again. And your basic loop at this level will be something like this, if you're still holding your shield of face, so you still get your armor class on 19, it's very hard to hit you actually. And you can use your cantrip, which is sacred flame, it's doing not a lot, but at least some damage, 1d8 is nice too. But it's got low hit chance. Additionally, you can use Guardian Fall. It's got much higher hit chance and doing much more damage. It's using spell slot of level 1. So, how spell slots works? If you don't know, if you cast an any spell, for example, Shield of Face, you will lose your spell slot. As you can see, we got one gray square over here. So, when we lose all spell slots, we won't be able to cast spells in a fight. We will be able to cast only cantrips. And Sacred Flame is actually a cantrip. But when we use our long rest, we go to camp, then all spell slots is regenerated. Just like that. So let's use our Hilding Bolt. Just like that. He just disappeared. Oh my god. And as bonus action, as bonus action, you can recast Shield of Faith if you need it. Or use your spiritual weapon. And you can pick any weapon you like, depending on what enemy got resistances, because you got force damage and i guess it's like no matter what you pick it's just a matter of your choice but maybe someone got different resistances so let's just summon this stuff and just as bonus action we got our awesome additional mole and this mole will go and attack our enemies and as you can see pretty nicely pretty nicely additionally this spiritual weapon can fly for some distance so it can go up and down, it's like important to know. As you can see, it's hard to hit us. And don't forget, we got Flaming Sphere. So Flaming Sphere is basically Flaming Sphere, this little sun that can go and ramp into people. So just go ramp some guys and you will see how Cleric is just broken and strong on these levels. 
even when doing just 0 to 5 damage with <laughs> his mace. So your main idea as my cleric will be to go and find a weapon that will scale up with dexterity damage. So for example, we can go and fight Scimitar and while we are not proficient with this weapon, we can't add, add our proficiency to this weapon, it scales up with our dexterity. So we're doing at least from 3 to 8 damage with melee attacks. But your main idea is to actually go and fight dagger. It's really important for my build to go and find dagger. So, long crest, our spells regenerated, and don't forget you can use channel dream to one time per day and use this AOE spell one time per short rest. So if you want to regenerate it, just use short rest and your channel of divinity will be regenerated and you basically go inside your enemies and use this AOE spell for large radius in the large zone and it will inflict damage to everyone and dispel magical darkness. So let's level up more and wrap up our build. Level 4 Cleric. We get additional cantrip, it just depends on what you want. I tend to go with Tramor, Tramor, Taumaturgy to have advantage on intimidation checks in dialogues. So it's basically role playing cantrip. Then we get additional spell to prepare. And now we're going to higher levels, better opponents, better enemies. And as support class, we can have use of Warding Bond. It will give resistance to all damage to our ally and plus one bonus to the armor class and saving throws. Very useful on your Barbarian, on your other melee characters. And most important, on level 4 we can pick our feet. So many feats for like Wizard or other spellcaster class will be like Warcaster to keep your concentration going on, Spell Sniper to have more like chance to critical strike with your spells but if i'm not mistaken this works only on spells with attack rolls and uh, most of our spells want to use this future so good uh, like choices for you will be resilient to increase for example charisma i mean wisdom but i don't know if it's working right now because it stated like it increases your wisdom by one and you're gaining proficiency with wisdom saving trolls very 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 strong Feet, very nice feet, and you can use it, but I don't see that <laughs> our wisdom is actually growing when we pick in this. So maybe it's broken right now. Just really carefully check out if it's working or not. Other good feet that we can use is lucky, lucky is just nice overall feet. It gives you luck points, and you can use these luck points to have advantage on next ability checks and even other crawls. But if everything works correctly, we definitely need to go and pick Resilient and pick Resilient Wisdom to have Wisdom at 18 with our build. So let's just check out if it works. I guess it's not, but I guess it will be hot fixed pretty soon. So just go and pick ability distribution and dump everything into Wisdom or pick Lucky. So level 5 will unlock our level 3 domain spells and this like always prepared spells, don't forget it. So we can always cast this Daylight spell or Fireball spell, one of the best damage dealing spells in the game. So that's why Light Domain Cleric is so nice. Additionally, we'll get Destroy Undead, which is class Future. And basically when you turn Undead with your like basic skill, you will inflict from 4 to 24 radiant damage to these Undeads. And you gain uh, access to a lot of level 3 spells too. So. Let's just go and prepare them, because we got two more spells to prepare. And best spell you can pick over here is Spirit Guardian. It gives nice uh, variety of damage, it's doing necrotic damage or radiant damage of your choice. And another good pick will be Glyph of Warding to make some traps. Or you can go and pick Speak with the Dead for some role playing purposes. Or Revify will be always <laughs> useful to revive your teammates. Let's go to our level. 6. So we're gaining improved uh, warding player and additionally we're gaining additional divinity charge and more spell slots. So again, more spell slots can be used on whatever you like. For example, I like to use Revify sometimes on my teammates, so that's how my build. And still warding flare, not very good, not very strong, but still very cheap because it's not using any spell slots, that just your divinity charges and they recharge with short rest, so it's nice to have it. Our level 7 cleric will get access to level 4 spells finally and 2 light domain spells. It 
gives Guardian of Pace. So here's some useful stuff, it's protection from energy you can use, it's level 3 spell, so you already could knew it, it's nice, so resistance to any type of damage that you will choose to protect your party member. All nice stuff over here actually is freedom of movement if you need to, to save a life from stun, difficult terrain and other stuff. Or dash ward. So if you got barbarian in your party, for example, if you like to have barbarian in your party, it's nice to cast it on this barbarian. And when it activates, instead of downing, this barbarian will survive with one hit point. And if you watched my barbarian guide or you know how barbarians works, they basically got ability to survive this two times already. So with this stuff, you can survive like three times in one battle as barbarian. And barbarian doing crazy damage in one turn. So no matter 1 HP or just a lot of HP they have. So let's go to our next level. It will be level 8. And we got our subclass feature, Potent Spell Casting. So our god grants us even more intense power. And we can now add our Wisdom modifier to damage we're dealing with our cantrips. So basically, when we're using our cantrips, they becoming more strong right now. Because on level 8 already, your old cantrips is just... It's just laughable spells and now you can use them, finally. So prepare any spell you want actually, just matter of your choice. So if you picked Resilient and it works, it's nice to pick Warcaster right now to have better ability to keep your concentration going on. Or you can go and use Ability Improvement to dump everything into Wisdom. And if everything works correctly, you should have 20 Wisdom right now. And it's nice synergy with this subclass future, so we got plus 5 to all your cantrip damage, if everything works correctly, but sadly a little bit back right now. So level 9, we got more spell slots and already level 5 spell slots with light domain spells. Again, flame strike and destructive wave, very nice and very strong spells. That's why light domain cleric is just brokenly good. So for prepared spells, we can have additional two spells and I recommend to have mass cure wounds because you still need to be a little bit more like supportive class and insect plague very nice like AOE controlling zoning spell let's go to level 10 of course and we're getting our cantrip so we can use produce flame whatever additional spells right now we can pick some spells from previous levels whatever you like and what you need because you don't have a lot of spell slots from higher levels so speaking with that will work just as fine and we're going to level 11 of course we got more hp we got finally level 6 spell slots so that's big stuff that's nice and strong spells and what we can do we can inflict harm which is 14 d6 necrotic damage a lot of damage actually and that's nice uh, spell to reduce maximum hit points of your target. So it's a good spell when you're fighting some big bosses that can heal themselves. For example, it's a nice spell to have. Additionally, if you don't want to speak with the dead, you can have healing spell, for example, to have some variety. But actually, all these uh, spells is kind of nice. So I will show you some of them so you will enjoy them. And let me show you this final level 12 cleric in nice fight and all of his spells so for now i hope you got all your wisdom to 20 and finally pick just for caster to finish up our build remind you you need to have increased ability by one from a resilient but we don't have it sadly so level six spells let's go Let's go into spellbook, it will be easier to find them. Max level cleric, how it looks like. Cantrips. Basic sacred flame will inflict from 3 to 24 damage. And that's big for just a cantrip, of course, even on level 12. But let's look our level 6 spells. So first of all, of course, we got create undead. And if we find any corpse, we can make undead from this. So we just go find some corpse and create this mummy mummy with 93 hit points this mummy can inflict frighten to enemies can have multi attack so attack multiple targets if they standing nearby and pretty strong summon if you want to use it still it uses level 6 spell slot so we can have only one mummy at a time so next stop is harm again very strong spell let's cast it on mummy 
and Mumin just saved from our harm. Make sure to check out target so your target will have like low con because con is our saving throw of choice from this spell. So, and just right now we reduced <laughs> max hit points from this mummy from 93 to 45. And that's our inflicted damage basically. Really crazy stuff. So another stop, Hero's Feast. And that's basically we just using this and we're creating feast everyone just having some food we got food supplies we got a lot of camp supplies and we got increased total health points so everyone just become a lot better our moment right now having 105 hit points another good level 6 spell again heal so you can heal for 70 health points that's just insane amount almost all he hell points can be healed blade barrier it's like the wall of blades so you pick one target you pick second target and make this wall of blades and it's doing a lot of damage we broke our concentration sadly because it's using concentration but inflicting pretty nice damage from six do 60 damage and it's counted as difficult terrain and last but not least planar ally so we can use deva cambion or genie and they got different spells for example here we have breathful smite revivify and concussive smash it's basically like paladin finish charm training kiss and race of fire it's like maybe a warlock something like this and genie which is sweet plum Chander wave and drunken inhale so, so it's like genie basically let's summon genie i guess and that's the party we have for late game fights so we can see a lot of summons and we can have really nice and strong fight with these dudes so let's go and check them in battle so late game cleric not relying on your teammates a lot you can use genie as your melee fighter for example you get really large movement speed and even have bonus action which can teleport him whenever you like and wherever you like insane insane summon with 161 hp so as cleric you can go and summon for example flaming sphere it's better to do before battle of course and if we upcast it, it will do a lot more damage. Let's upcast it as level 5 spell. So now we got our Flaming Sphere and it can run into people for just crazy amounts of damage. And of course we got our Mumi and Mumi can dash like normal people. So dash to target and we'll attack it next turn. And only now we go into our Cleric of course. So what our cleric can do, it can summon spiritual weapon again. Because it's not require any concentration, so just enjoy your spiritual weapon and you can upcast it too for more hit points and more damage. So upcast it from level 5, the spiritual weapon will do from five to from 7 to 21 damage and will have loads of hit points. We just summon it nearby strongest enemy we got it in our party and it can attack with some chance for doing just some nice and with strong force damage which is like a least resistant damage in world game so as genie you can use chunder wave to push your enemies away it's nice spell too and as our cleric you can do whatever you like actually you can use scorching ray to increase to inflict fire damage or you can use fireball for like one of the best damaging spells in the game so as we well, just go into target targets i'm inflicting a lot of damage too and just like that you play as flight domain cleric build from me i hope you enjoyed this build and it will be useful for you and your will through from baldur's gate 3 watch cool videos on the screen right now it's funny about those gate 3 videos and i remind you look in the pinned comment